all right good evening good afternoon good morning and welcome to the stream good morning monster a little early start today it's going to be hot today so i want to see if i can't get over to the house later on today and do some work oh i clicked where i shouldn't have clicked hang on let me fix this and now i can check audio make sure everything's good like i'm a little delayed that's odd let me uh let me do a refresh here real quick and now let's see all right still delayed oh. strange that's odd all right good game um let's launch c can so we're continuing our kerbal career we're gonna go around and collect as much science as we can Landing on planet surfaces, bringing the science. But actually, to be honest with you, I think I want to put the science in a station. Uh, okay, so everything's good there. Do we have the um, the mobile processing lab? I can't remember. And um, have I already? Do that every single time. You request. Why is that not working? Everything seems to be not working. Now, I wish to review my requests. Strange. <sighs> Manage rewards. So none of that's working. For some. All right. Close down all my browsers. Having some technical difficulty here for some reason. Seem to get to. Huh. This doesn't work. Okay, I can pop it out to a separate window and that worked. All right, cool. All right, let me get back to things, how they were. Having a moment here. All right, let's get into our. Hey, wait, wait, wait. First of all, um, minimize, minimize, go to my saves. Did we ever configure this? <clears throat> Excuse me. Cursive, I say, off. Yeah, okay, that worked. All right, let's get into our recurbled career. Sorry about the delay on that. All right, and I have a Kerbal to add. That was for... Hey, good morning, how you doing? I'm going to get lunch. Please don't fail spectacularly. I promise I will not. So first of all, did I add him and just, oh, I did. Okay. So complete. All right. Wait. <clears throat> um, so we don't, let's see, do we have the mobile processing lab? No costs 160. All right. So um if i'm not mistaken we did launch kerbals 
on a flyby hmm. of or did we send oh no 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 we have not collected science so um yeah so this was our so we were going to do a, a two curb not with that we're going to do a two Kerbal craft. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to need pilot and scientist. All right. Um, they're going to take as much science as they can. Interesting. So that means we are going to do something like. Oh, no. Hmm. All right. Um, so to make this work. think so this has to come back to the atmosphere somehow hmm. is there not a shorter fuel tank oh there is Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so here's the deal. This is what we're going to do. Just had an epiphany. So if... If this comes back through the atmosphere, that will... That's going to have our Kerbals. Okay, fine, fine. So we can still do this... Um, so hang on, I have an idea. I'm kind of all over the place right now. So this will basically be our cargo. And I think... When did that work? Um, okay. Press run. All right, so let's do... Something like this. Have to find the right hot spot. Sweet. Um, all right, so let's pull that away. Um, and then let's go to our science. Oh, 
Jesus. So we're going to see if we can't use this craft to get two cr Press the wrong key. So let's do this. Do, 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 do. That's, that's got all of our science. We're gonna have a pilot on board, but um, I think we're still going to strap an antenna. So we can detach because we'll transfer all the science up to this module. So that'll be good. Um, and then we got that. Oh, and it did not retain the fairing. That's awesome. All right. Um, so this is going to be a recurb um, science flyby. So we're going to see if we can't use the same craft. Don't neglect fashion lighting. It's a very good point. I always, always forget to do that. On landing, landing in stations, lighting is important. All right, let's um, let's try this again. See, it says the fairing's there. I don't see it. Ah, it was there. All right, so all of our science is in there. Nice. It's, um, what do I want to do? Oh, that. There. All right, so this is the craft that I want to get us, let's see here, from Kerbin orbit and around a planet and then back. So let's see if we can equip that. So if we put the Terrier, um, that's a lot of Delta V, low thrust to weight ratio. But I think that's going to be fine. I think that's going to be okay. We're going to have to add a little bit more of this crap. All right, so to make it a little neater and refined, do this. Um, we want to make sure we have all of our science in here, and then once we get into orbit, we get rid of the shroud, and then they can use the science. Make sense? What do we have up here? We have spare parts. We have snacks. So let's say this craft is going to go to Minmus. We need at least 30 days of snacks, at least, and that's only 16. So let's, um, oh. Oh, man. Um... Where is the, oh, there they are. So we're gonna pack some more snacks. Let's see what that does for two Kerbals. We have two Kerbals on board, right? Yes, we do. That's 66 days. All right, so if we reduce this down to 75, how about 60? 36 days. Um, let's see here, we need to, um, we're going to detach this, so it's not going to have any sort of value. Need a little help with control. Let's grab this doohickey that we made.
kind of my, my go-to control. All right. Um, this thing has got 200 electrical. All right. Let's maybe... Go away. Um, I don't know why that fairing doesn't stay. We're going to... Oh, well. I did have a built fairing. Alright. Alright, so that's our orbiter. That's going to get us there, get us back. Plenty of fuel. I think. We'll try this on the MUN first. All right, so let's get this into orbit. That shouldn't be too hard. How much does this weigh? It's a 10 ton craft almost. <sighs> okay. Okay. No coupler long. And we go with a fuel adapter. Okay. And so these are the biggest fuel tanks we have. Really need to unlock some more fuel tanks. Oh. Oh, no, these are. There they are. Uh, okay, fine. Orange is, orange is fine. All right, let's see. Bookie, what's wrong? Bookie's upset about something. What? Wants to go out. Can't go out, bud. Sorry. So if we do a um that and then if we do the horn one okay so the biggest the heaviest lifting engine we got is the kodiak if we kind of give that like that all right now uh of course that doesn't make a whole lot of sense yet maybe i don't need to do a to a single last time we did something a little tricky um i need to what's up huh oh my Pookie's feeling neglected. Very right, Pookie. We got rockets. Rockets to fly. Um, we're going to need these for help. Okay. I'm going to leave those at 100. Okay. Now, last time we did something like this grabbed a fuel tank there. 
then if we so we don't have any gimbal control and of course we're not getting off the ground here that this might not work <laughs> pretty heavy rocket if we put the swivels Ooh, that does work wow okay and then we got to make them a little bit more so first of all let's um yeah that works I'll say grandparent go this on grandparent oh there he was All right, so that definitely gets us off the launch pad. Um, still works. Uh, now, just in case this does work, I don't want to leave this hunk of junk in orbit. So we're going to do this. We're going to add more weight going to add one of these and we're going to put this and we're going to put big batteries Well, it's, it's a simple rocket. If we can get to orbit, and this will get us to the moon and back, we should be able to do this to um, Minimus and back. We're about to find out. We need to put some launch clamps. Sure is a weird rocket. Hope it works. All right. Let's do, oh, oh, no, that won't work. Oh, darn, darn, I had the wrong button pressed. Hang on, let's see if we can get any. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. Back to the drawing board. Um. Well, okay. Just needs a little bit of boost, right? Not a big fan of SRBs.
Let's see. Um, I guess this goes there. That's 42 seconds. No, still not going to be enough. So we're going to have to go non. Uh, SRB. So if we build our own fuel systems using well, that's strange. need that much now we don't we won't go that heavy but I want to make sure um, all the weight Let's see what happens here so if we grab this that off yeah I, I got on early today um, it's been really warm and so I figured you know, if I stream a little earlier, I can uh, I can end a little earlier, get over there when it's cool, because I got a lot of I got a lot of sanding I got to do on the out, outside, so I don't want to be you know sweating to the moldies, you know. Um, let's make this double, and we're gonna put Reliance on. Oh, is that going to work? Um, well, the, um, over at the house, the, when the house was initially built and then added on the paint back that the used in the fifties and sixties was a, um, enamel based. So we put a latex on top of it, which stuck fine. But if you, if you, if you like, rub uh, like um if you accidentally graze it with a piece of furniture that has a sharp corner it peels and it just peels off so since the doors i suspect will have the most wear and tear i'm taking all the internal doors off sanding them down to the wood and then repainting them oh so, yeah uh, i'm still playing the first kerbal you like it better yeah uh kerbal 2 has still a lot of bugs, a lot of performance issues, a lot of frame rate issues too, and is a sandbox. So, you know, we'll wait until they get the science stuff enabled. Um, is that, that's, oh, wait, wait, wait. What if we, what if we take um, the engines? Uh, I'm just using an orbital sander with a 80 grit sandpaper. Thanks, Warwick. And I'm like, it's, it's, I, I was using a process where I used something called citrus strip. And you, you, you spread this stuff on. And no, well, they're solid doors, so they're good doors, but they have some detail. So it's just not a, a flat, a, a flat door. It's got, you know, an internal panel with some details and stuff like that. So, um, is what I do is the citrus strip isn't overly expensive, but it's going to take a lot of that to get the detail. So I'm just going to get one more jug of this stuff. It's like a small jug and you, you use a, a disposable paintbrush and you put it where you want to strip and you put saran wrap on it to keep it as moist as possible. And while it's still moist, it's still strip, it strips away varnish and all sorts of stuff. So it's a pretty good product. I don't need it for the whole door. I can just use, high grit sandpaper um all 
All right, so now, I don't know if this is gonna work. All right, so let's, um, that, that, one more here, and that. All right. Now, let's go down here. That, and these should say grandparent. Now, let's put this in the right spot. Not a big booster, but I'm hoping just a little bit added fuel and umph gets us somewhere. Oh, I didn't want four. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have to do this. Uh, I had a guy come by this morning to insulate the spacing between our office room and basement. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. It's going to be so nice in the winter not having cold feet. I, I understand that. Oh. All right. So let's drag all the engines together. Well, that's not good. All right. That's a very nice thrust to weight ratio. That's a lot. That. Perfect on the fuel. Um, I think we're gonna expand it a little bit too. Oh, nice. All right, cool. I hope this works. Uh, where's the fuel tanks? Let's grab these things. That's not right. Why do I keep missing the mark on this? There we go. I got it. I, I, I strut this stuff to um to heavy and this is also strutted, yes. But the whole tank is separate pieces, so if if this stuff doesn't wobble, I don't worry about it, and I use manual struts on that stuff anyways. Okay, things are acting kind of wacky here. There we go, that was weird. Usually when stuff happens like that, you get errors. Box collider does not support negative scale. I wasn't trying to do anything negative. All right. So anyways, the, um, instead of going to Home Depot, which is like, you know, it's like 30 minutes there and back and gas a little bit expensive. I order on Amazon and it'll be here today sometime. So I don't know if I get to sand today, definitely tomorrow. Um, but I got, um, I've got some gaps to, uh, do some caulking and stuff like that. Um, I tell you what I'm really happy with it. It was a, a minor thing. But the um, the pocket door is is like a skeletal frame, and how they assembled it is they use staples on the reveals to attach it to the skeletal frame. So it's got these big staple holes, and I used wood filler to fill it in, sand it down, and the door we're using is a pre-existing internal door. It used to be the closet door of of our bedroom. Um, and uh, I went and wood filled, sand, painted, and it looks really nice. I put the pictures out on Discord too. One of the things I'm gonna do today is I have a, 
the inspector came by yesterday and gave us the thumbs up. Everything looked good. He was very happy with it and a uh, real nice guy too. Very, very helpful when you have questions, you know, it's not like you think, you know, oh, I read the code and I should understand everything of it. Um, the, um, the box, the work box, it's got a light switch in our fan is, is, uh, nailed to, a, um, a two by four, a stud. And is what it's doing is it's causing the box to kind of come out a little bit. So I'm going to try, first of all, is to go in there and use a screwdriver and pull the nails out a little bit to see if it relaxes the box. If that doesn't, then I'm just going to pull it out and use a different box. Back when we were building our kitchen, I manually sanded down our tabletop, uh, three oak plates, glued oak lamels about, wow, wow, that's a lot of work. Yeah, I, I hear you. I am in the hallway, the the cupboard that was in there, we're gonna redo that a little bit, give us some more shelving, but the, the doors that were covered had three layers of paint. When I got down to the wood, it's like this beautiful heart pine, so. They used real wood back then. I know this isn't Kerbal Chat. I do apologize. But um, Alex and I, uh, that didn't really... Why are things so... Oh, I'm just going to do it. Um, our, our internal deadline is the end of this month. So everything that has to be done by plumbers and stuff like that, we're done. We've had our inspection. And uh, so now we can, like I said, today we're gonna do some painting, some caulking. Friday, probably additional painting and, and ceiling. <laughs> um, tomorrow, I, I expect, today and tomorrow, I'm hoping to be doing some sanding. We, uh, we had a door that opened up into a room, but we had carpet put in the room that never had carpet. So the door was really tight. So we, we trimmed it once, it wasn't quite enough. So we trimmed it again. And since we had it off the hinges, we decided to start the stripping process. And I'm about maybe a quarter of the way done. I don't know. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. So 152 off the launch pad, these boosters are gonna last for 42 seconds. All right. You know, if it doesn't work, we just bring the Kerbals back. Hey, look at that. Hey, hey, look at that. Swedish was 66 months on a resub. Swedish, thank you so much for that, man. I appreciate that so much. Yeah. What are you doing, Swedish? I'm gonna try to get some Kerbals to uh, do a flyby around the Mun without killing them. Seem to have this reputation. Summer vacay. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I think um, I think towards the end of this month it's it's over and back to school sort of stuff. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Okay, so let's see here. It, it's a multicolored madness thing here, isn't it? All right, so we still have our Kerbals in there. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> I've just been talking about my big project, which is, uh, you know, getting the house ready. We have, you know, we have a punch list for each room and it's interesting because we actually have a couple rooms that uh oh all right um this is what we're gonna do because because i didn't know that we we were using we're at the desert facility and we launched a satellite from here so um we're gonna test this rocket we're gonna put it into orbit see if it works and then we're gonna bring the kerbal straight back and then we're gonna launch from uh ksc so or or not we'll, we'll find out but we got some science that's for sure so let's make sure we're set up for that ah see let's put them in the command pod there we go and and as a filthy eurokami 
you get nine weeks off you know when when i was in high school i went to um it was very experimental in the sacramento california area uh year round and um so basically when i started um we had what they called tracks so we had a b c and d so three tracks were always at school um there would be one week of overlap and then another track would then go and usually it was four weeks so every every nine weeks and then you're off four weeks i i dug it all right let's see what happens here do this um no, let's put this at 90. All right, let's try it. Hey, Fluffy, how the heck are you doing? This is just a test flight of the vehicle because I picked the wrong launch place yeah i work continuous three shifts during the season so i get a lot of time off tell you what when i worked for intel corporation yes the intel corporation and um after seven years you get a sabbatical i was not prepared for 45 days off in a row okay boosters getting ready to go bye bye okay gravity turn goes the boosters yeah, I didn't know what to do with myself. It was so weird because for the first week, I was still getting up at six or seven o'clock in the morning and still going to bed at nine. But I tell you what, about two and a half weeks into it, man, I was staying up till four or five watching DVDs and playing games and taking advantage of 24 by seven, you know, grocery stores. But then I tell you what, a week before I was going back to work, I found it very difficult to go to bed at 10. There you go. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I did a, um, in the garage of the house, there's a window and we don't have it in the budget to have someone come out and take it out and, and do the, and the whole house is brick. So we need a, 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 I don't know anything about putting bricks in. So it would require someone that knows masonry and we just don't have it in the budget. So what I did is I pulled off the storm window. I vacuumed it, all the but dead bugs out and whatnot and uh so we can do that um and one of the windows is broken so whenever this happened they put a couple pieces of wood overlapping just to keep whatever out and i i took the lumber out and i i i, I uh, cut it so it fit a little bit better and put some glue in there and mount it a little bit better and put the storm window back up since the window's never going to be opened and then on this side I put some foam board, some purple foam board, and then I spray painted one side of it black. So when you look in the window, you just see black. And then I covered it with um, foil tape. And then I put a thermal barrier over that yesterday because I'm just gonna cover up that whole wall with sheetrock. So it's insulated, ready for the sheetrock. How much science did they collect? They collected, wow, okay. So I've been putting up the, um, the, the wall is brick. And then of course, you know, it's got um, a stud frame. And uh, I, I, one of the first things I did when um, we started doing work on the house is I insulated the inside of the garage. I mean, one side has to be insulated because it's attached to the house, but I just continued that all the way around. Um, there's a couple of stud areas that are vacant that, uh oh. So we've got 554 Delta V left. So we're going to say goodbye to that. 
switch back to that. So it's got a an antenna, right? Uh oh. Oh yeah, no. Uh oh. Oh, I better hurry up. I thought I put an antenna on this. I guess I did not. Oh wait a minute, there has to be an antenna somewhere. Oh no. <gasps> okay. Alright, so let's turn this thing around. Thought I put an antenna on this. All right, so that'll deorbit. Then we have 2,321 delta V in this stage. We have a thrust to weight ratio of 0.9. All right. So let's um, target the MUN. Do that. Do that. And we want to do a flyby. We don't want to slam into it. So let's... Um, then we're going to correct our inclination here. Um, I think. Okay. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to, um, we'll make a course correction halfway out because we're just going to eat up a lot of fuel trying to do it over here. So yeah, this, uh, this Saturday, Alex and I are going to, oh, so it's interesting The the window is in a, a, a window frame, but for some reason, the frame sticks out three quarters of an inch over the studs on one side and one quarter of an inch on the other side. So I'm making some furring strips all the way around that's three quarters out. So when I put the sheetrock up, it won't be leaning in. It'll be straight. So that's what all, that's kind of what I've been doing. I have all this scrap lumber from uh, the remodel. So, okay, here we go. And once I get all that sheetrock up, wait, what? I managed to get a window frame in, not as an angle, but kind of, um, uh, kind of, how do you say kind of, um, like this by a quarter of an inch. So it's not like this, it's like this, or actually this. Uh, it, it's actually, on the outside, it's perfect. So somehow, and it might not be when they framed it, it might've been when it's some settling took place, so. It, it's very interesting because the, the first portion of the house is on, uh, what do you call it, supports? And uh, initially, just think of a square. And that was the, and it had the proper joists and the proper supports. But as they started adding on, it got closer to the ground. So it's basically um, the garage has got a concrete pad that you step up to brick. But of course, since there's, you know, the, the house is straight, but the ground does this, right? So there's shorter supports. And it seems like the newer part of the house has done this a little bit because the settling cracks, the angle goes towards the back of the house. So that's what I suspect has happened. So a little furring or blocking, hopefully be addressed. And it's interesting too, because, well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now this is built in 1953, I think I was told. All right, so let's do that. Now, if we point towards and turn on the RCS, 
Um. Perfect. All right. So we still have 1427. Yay. So let's get out here. Yeah, the, the, the one thing I'm very happy about was like in the first, well, when we first bought the house, the first thing we did is we re remodeled the original bathroom. We added more space to it by absorbing the one of the room's closet. So bigger bathroom, that's good. Um, and then while that was going on, we were having the home, which had someone identified the time. I called it rattlesnake wire, but it's the tube and something. So it would not have held up to modern day electronics. So we had it completely rewired. Nice. I, you know, I don't know squat about plumbing. I can, I can unhook a sink and put it back. But if I was to add a garbage disposal, I would buy way too much PVC and overcompensate for what needs to be done. So, what? Oh, all right. Oh, that's you. <laughs> because especially, um, the, the way that the kitchen was originally built. So it's still the, the same original kitchen. There was no dishwasher. And usually in today's homes, the dishwasher is pretty close to the sink. So our dishwasher is the furthest away. So you can't run your drain line like through the cabinet to the drainage or into the garbage disposal. So ours goes to a, um, it goes to a trap inside the crawl space and then it goes into the septic. All right, so we are about to Get into the MUN. SOI. There we go. Lots of science. Cool. As long as you follow code. Yeah. 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 I get that. All right. Here we are. Look at that. How much science do we have now? Ooh, 28. All right. Let's have uh, our scientists pop out and then go back in. There we go. Get EVA report. Wait. There we go. Has Pookie Kitty explored the new place yet? No, not yet. Um, I think we are looking at moving, you know, end of August, mid September. So yeah, I mean, what, what, what I will do, um, and uh, I, I briefly talked to Alex about this. I said, you know what, once we get the house past once we get the, at the end of July, I think I might move my streaming setup over there. That way I get up and I go to work. I have to deal with the commute and all that kind of stuff. And then, and then when I'm there, if there's anything to do, instead of driving over there and do it, I can just be there and do it. So yeah. So I might move my streaming setup and get it all set up and make sure we don't have any issues with the internet over there. Internet so far has been fine. Oh, we're going to come back at an inclination. Wow. All right, whatever. So, um, well, Pookie's going to have a little bit more room too, I believe, to explore. So we, we need to fix. Can I fix? No, I don't want to do that. So we're going to wait until we leave and then we'll fix. Yeah, we can do that. Um, let's get over here. There's more science. Nice, nice, nice. Get our scientists to hop out. Hop back in. 
All right, so is there anything I can do here to? Yes, I can. Look at that. It's gonna cost very little. Uh, you used to have that awesome antenna radio internet. Yeah, when I lived in California, and the only thing that came to the house was power. There's no landline. There's no cable. So um, my roommates at the time were using wireless internet and I don't mean you have a wireless router they had a microwave antenna that pointed to another antenna on a tower somewhere um at 8 a.m they would throttle us and uh they said they didn't but they did and I was able to find another provider in the area and it was like having cable you know it was subject to storms wind you know so but the guy, the guy, the guy cared. It was this very, very small company. That's going the wrong way. So we want to go. Yeah. That's way too much. Oops. Um. All right, let's try that. Yeah, it, you know. But for the most part, and it was a wasn't fast, but it was fast enough. You know, it was 20, 20 and twenty for a hundred bucks a month. Yeah. Okay, we still have 1300 Delta V. <laughs> and we are going to pop out over there. So let's do, wait, let's make sure I do this right. All right, cool. Yay, more, oh, that's all duplicate, all right. Well, you know, it's funny because um, FX Editor got fiber for, he said 55 a month, and I'm sure that's probably an introductory. And um, we do have, it's not fiber, but we have one gig speeds. I, d I just don't know what the upload is. 34, huh? You know what? I think, um, let's make it close to 40. The thing is sometimes your internet service provider, so we have Spectrum, which used to be Charter. And I tell you what, for the most part, every single tech that I've ever seen, always very helpful. Um, more than happy to, to go the extra mile, it seems, which is awesome. Um, downtime. Very, very little. Yeah, and I, I think editor said he was, he, um, maybe he said, God, I can't remember. He, he posted out in discord. Let me see if I recall that. I don't want to misquote the gentleman. No, I'm sorry. He's got 500 by 500 for $55 a month. Still, that's not bad. 500 up. Holy shnikey. Yeah, we're unfortunately, the plan we have here is a legacy plan, which is not a good legacy. It's just it doesn't make sense to upgrade for the short amount of time we're still going to be here and take advantage of it over there. All right, so um, I think it's time. Uh, point or took us the other way. Got to learn how to do this. There we go. 
If we singe off our solar panels, I'm not concerned. My current download is 25. My up is 244. You're on uh, DSL? Or your cell phone service? Yeah. It's funny because I just read where T-Mobile evidently, um, T-Mobile has got a better 5G network than Verizon, but Verizon offers a $50 a month, no cap, home internet, but it's through their cell service. And I read this very detailed report about a guy who has a very good cell tower connection and he used it and he says, it's very, very comparable to having a one gig. He goes, but it is a cell service. So you have more errors. So, you know, things getting in the way and whatnot. All right, coming up on the atmosphere here. We're looking to uh, pull this back quite a bit. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, look at that. That's science right there. Oh, you know what? I don't have the uh, wrong one. There we go. That's fine. That's our solar panels. to keep things cool as possible here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna land. Not doing another lap around the block it looks like. I right, having a little problems here. Oh that's not good. Not good. Not good at all. Oh God. I just killed, I just killed Jeb and Saturn. I couldn't control. They had so much reaction wheel and it was just too much. Oh, that's terrible. Sucks. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll do it before you guys do it. Man. When we uh, drive around KSC to um, uh, to collect some more science, we'll uh, we'll uh, do a ceremony. The man, it it was hanging tough, and then all of a sudden, right after the solar panels, I noticed the control for some reason was lacking. Did we run out of power? No, we had power. The reaction wheels were there. Oh, oh, the the um the Gemini doesn't have a reaction wheel. Oh, I keep forgetting the though no, that that's why it felt so sluggish for me. I keep forgetting that that one command pod, well the Russian one's tuned, does not have an internal reaction wheel. Oh, not not an excuse. It's just a a realization that the end of the craft has got two reaction wheels that I put as those um, control mechanisms but um it's acting like a um a pendulum so i didn't have equal support up here so i couldn't flip it it, it would just flip <sighs> okay fine fine not good 
Not good. Not good at all. Nope. I hate to say this. We need to get that science back. Dang it. All right. And we're going to launch from the, um, uh, from this uh, desert again to get that science. So, um, We'll take digital as a pilot and we can take uh electro oh so wait before we do this let's um let's add um the reaction wheel i, I think i'm so where is it so this one Unless I'm mistaken, maybe none of them got a reaction. I thought this one had a reaction. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, all right. So see, that one's got a reaction wheel. Okay. And Okay, I don't want that. That's what I want. Mark two has no reaction wheel. Okay. Uh-oh. That's the failure. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right, so let's see here. So what we'll do is we'll grab... Let me see if this one addition helps. Oh, that's crooked. this again I have pookie at my feet they want when it's cold and he comes over and lays on my foot I get a very warm foot it's not good you know usually I'm pretty darn good at not killing crow Ooh, it's daytime right, let's turn this off this that they look worried I guess they should be go the boosters now this all worked before it was the getting back and trying to um trying to skip through the atmosphere too much which was difficult
No, there's not. There's something called the memorial wall that gives you a halo like. That would be nice though, like an arc. Yeah. Maybe we could uh, make something like cargo pods. Don't open the doors though. Tell you what, you can tell I'm I'm not a carpenter construction guy. I have more cuts and chaps and I'm sorry not chaps, but I'm um, dry skin on my um, fingers. Hang on a second. I'm trying to fix something here. Mm -hmm. Alright, gonna... right, get rid of that, switch back to this. Yeah, I, it's not that a Kerbal starved to death. It wasn't that I left him outside of a vehicle. He just burned up in a capsule. All right, take two. I'm very happy about it. Tell you what, you know, would you guys say that the um, the early 2000s was the whole social, you know, you had your Facebook and what came after Facebook, you know? And then Elon and their news and his new CEO of just, I mean, maybe Twitter will get better, but it's not getting better. There's a, a, a couple other social networks. Blue Sky is something I'm kind of interested in. Google had their Google Plus and they folded that. I mean, <laughs> I almost have to go back to reading news through RSS scripts almost.
You never moved on? Um, I only used Facebook to get a hold of my high school chums and um, everything's still there. I just, I don't use it because everyone talks about their wine drinking experiences and just something I'm not interested in, so. Mastodon. I got you. All right, so let's uh, let's fix our orbit here. Um, if we get out here, do a node, then we can fix it all. That works. Uh, you have to understand that Twitter is Elon's social experiment. He is using it to see how far a corporation can take things before the people, patrons, employees start to buck the bull. Yeah. Bucking. I mean, some people are good business people. Some people are horrible at grocery shopping. Some people are good chefs. Some people are good barbers. Just because you're a good barber doesn't mean you're a good business person, you know, so. That was a really bad analogy, but. I'm not trying to say Elon is a good barber. All right, so that works. Try this again. <clears throat> I mean, even streaming, like, you know, uh, Disney isn't making any money off of Disney Plus. Um, they're canceling a lot of their shows, pulling a lot of content offline. Um, I was really shocked that Netflix has survived as long as it has. <laughs> okay, so let's get to here. Oops, almost did that wrong. Let's do that. Alex here. Alex waved. Be right back, guys.
All right, guys, I'm back. All right, so we are, um, just got some science. Let's get some, thanks, monster. Let's get that EVA. That looks so weird. Get him back aboard. All right, so if we do a little course correction here, Straighten that out a little bit. That's way too close. Oh. All right, we're going to do that. What? Go talk to Tom. She's here. Oh, more science, nice. Nothing like, you know, first two hours of a stream killing Kerbals. That's my goal, yes. All right, so two things different is we've added a reaction wheel to the command pod, which I forgot, which is no excuse. Um, and uh, we're not coming in as steep. And if we lose solar panels, not too, not too concerned with that. Okay, I'm nervous. You know what? Let's do this. I'm not going to take a chance anymore. So we're going to do another lap around the block here. Thing is. Um, we can do this for 16 days. It doesn't take 16 days. At least they'll be alive. That's what's important. Uh, 
English, please. Oh, don't be. Okay, now you're spamming. Tell you what, how about if you have a little timeout? And read the rules. Just because you're down lower to the ground doesn't mean the sound doesn't carry over. Yes, I'm sure. All right, so it says we have any, no, that's good. That's wrong. All right, so let's um, zip it to do that over here. So I believe that was uh, someone in Russian was asking what I was doing and stuff like that. So I, I gave him a timeout so he could hear the stream, maybe go read the rules. It is in English only. Because that's all I know. Am I speaking Swahili? She's over there making a sandwich laughing at me because I say English is all I know. I know some, I know another language. Okay. Evidently, she thinks I speak Kerb. Oh. All right. So, turn that off. How much ablators left? Oh, not much. Wow. How you doing, Vic? Oh, no. Is he stuck in space? No, no, we're fine. Victor, how you doing? Oh, geez. Oh. It was too risky to have the rest of the craft. We have all of our science up here, so we're good. Where am I landing from? Well, actually, we just did a flyby around the Mun, so we're getting ready to fly or land anywhere on Kerbin. But I think we're going to have to do another lap. doing a flyby landing as I like to call it. Oh, well, sure. Yeah. Flyby splashdown, flyby landing via parachute. Yeah. We're just trying to collect some science. We want to, I want to put a science research station in orbit around Kerbin as early as possible. So when we start going and getting science, instead of just either transmitting it or bringing it back, we can actually take that data with scientists and uh, get more science out of it. You're gonna try to do an orbit on the earth. Ooh, does that mean you're using the real solar system mod for Kerbal? I used that once, hard. Well, it wasn't hard, it just all your launches were very long. What? Yeah, I make all the noise you want. Sure there's a lot of noise. No, I just call Curve and Earth. Oh, I got you. Got you. Yeah, yeah that's true. No, I did that once. There was a, uh, a mod, or there is a mod called RSS, which turns Kerbin into Earth, 
The moon, it, it, it takes all the celestial bodies and changes them. And it's, it's weird because I didn't know <laughs> that Earth and the moon have an inclination, you know? And so when the, when I was trying to get to the moon, I'm going, hey, that's weird. There's an inclination. And yes, there is. It was fun though. It was really fun. They did a real good job with that mod. I didn't use, you know, um, what's it called? Um, RP one or RP zero. I didn't do the overhaul. I just didn't with, I just went the celestial panel planets. It was challenging enough. All right. So according to this, Got one more lap to go. Oh, I get to, Oh, yeah, that's good. Well, I, I failed my first <laughs> landing with a... We came in a little too steep. And the, the, the vessel had too many explodey parts, and we didn't have enough control, so I... I added more control, but I just wasn't going to risk it. I think the biggest problem that mod is that KSP coordinate system is based upon curve and being zero, zero, zero. So making the inclination between earth and the moon and tilting the entire solar system. I never, well, if they did that, they adjusted the other planets for it. it seemed to work okay when I, when I applied because I went to the moon, went to Mars. Um, I think that's all I did with when I was doing that. Um, Cause I was doing a, a really cool historic mod um, that really educated me on all the different flights, not all of them, but most of the space flights from Russia, the ESA, Japan, um, the US of course, and all the different attempts to do things. And I went, you know, all the Rangers, the, uh, the surveyors, um, all those, it was very, and I was using just stock parts because I didn't want to have mods on top of mods doing any things. And um, building like the uh, the Mir space station in stock was very feasible. It worked, and then I got to deorbit it because they deorbit it. Was it was a lot of fun. That makes sense. Yep, yep. Right. You know, we're trying to get out of atmosphere here Here we go all right so we have 15 days of snacks all right so let me ask chat who's heard of hostess your ding-dongs your ho-hos twinkies who's heard of little debbies and all their variety of stuff because I've never heard of them before until I moved to the East Coast. I mean, I heard of them, I never could experience them. Sorry, those things are not existing here. All right, Torts, gotcha. Torts, where are you at? You're in the UK? Denmark, gotcha. Well, you guys have got the real pastries, you know? Bonafide Viking. <laughs> you, you don't say, a, like, you don't have sentences that end with, I uh, hope I see you in Valhalla or anything like that, do you? Oops, I just hit 12 or something. That's wrong. No, me and Alex were having, see, I'm a West Coast and she's an East Coast. So, you know, there's hostess here, but never, there was never little Debbie's. And I was, I was comparing snacks and how over the years, my favorite, whenever I had the opportunity was, I love the hostess ho-hos. It was cake with a chocolate icing and it had a little cream filling. 
Ding dongs were basically the same thing, different shape, but I like the ho hos. They were so much more fun. And the, but the ding dongs had too much filling, and I just wasn't a big filling fan. This was jelly, jelly filling. But uh, over the years, they're not in foil anymore, and they've gotten smaller. They're not. All right, so we're getting ready to dip. Did you have jelly? I had peanut butter and jelly for breakfast on my toast, yes. So what are we doing for supper? Are we doing tater tot casserole? We're gonna have tater tot casserole for uh, supper tonight. Very yummy. Evidently, we're gonna have little Debbie's for dessert. Okay. I don't, you know, the only thing I know that Hostess that had a jelly was their, was their pies. I never liked their, their cherry pies because at the time I wasn't a fan of cherry pie. Always apple, uh, blueberry, which was always really hard to find too. And I tell you what, when they were low on their pies, they always had the chocolate and lemon filled, not more, oh, we're gonna land. Okay. All right, so before anything odd happens, let's get the shoot, Lloyd. They're bringing back some science. Hi, Alex. Have a nice day. So Electro has a shoot. Oh, they both do, okay. Last time, my Kerbal did not have a shoot. So anyways, at the house today, one of the first things I'm gonna do, if it's not too god awfully humid and warm, I have to drag a door out, put it on some sawhorses and get on it with an orbital sander. If I get the sandpaper today, I ordered 50, a bundle of 50, 80 grit for the sander. That'll eat that enamel right off. If I don't get that early on today, then I'm gonna go adjust the electrical switch. I'm gonna see if I can't get in there and um, pry out this, the, uh, the nails a little bit to see if it recedes the box. If it does, sweet. If not, I'll spend probably a good hour Turn off the electrical panel, have a bunch of lights in there, and uh, I'm gonna swap out the work box that you put in with state uh, with nails. I keep saying staples, nails, and put in the ones that have the little sheetrock flaps. That'll work just as good. Do you use grain size in the U.S. for measuring how coarse the sandpaper is? Uh, just grit. Not like grits and toast make sure it's decode <laughs> what well, well, oh no we just actually passed our inspection yesterday yeah the uh like i said what i put in there is a double ganger there, there's actually pictures in discord the uh the one thing i'm not very happy with is um <sighs> and, and i thought it was going to work but this is what I get for not doing this as, as you know. Hang on. So this is the light switch. It works and the inspector, pa you know, passed it. It's just because it's nailed to a stud right here, it's 
flaring out. So I'm gonna take the cover off, turn off the breaker, and then I'm gonna stick a screwdriver and see if I can't pull the nails out just a bit and then see if it see if it collapses back into the wall. If it does, then great. Oh, it's because we use size like 40, very, very coarse 80. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Yeah, so being that the door I'm sanding, I don't want to use 120 on it because I'll go, I'll go through more of those than I will an 80 grit. So uh, 80 grit more coarse to take off the enamel. And once I get the enamel down, then I'll do a 120 so it makes it a little bit nicer. Can I have a shoot, please, before we die? Good lord, that was scary. What was that set for? 1300. A lot, a lot closer than 1300. Um, like I said, the, the reason why I'm doing that is, is the whole house had or has um, a layer of enamel paint. So on the walls should be fine, but on the doors, I get a lot of wear and tear. I'm stripping them all down, repainting them. 240, nah. On the doors, no. If it was like some sort of furniture, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Smoother like baby's butt. I don't think I have any 240, I have 600, 800, 120. I have a couple 40s, but I'm gonna use um, these 80s. Hang on a sec here. Yay! One sec, guys. All right. All right, let's hop out, get this EVA report, and then hop back in, and then uh, recover. But as soon as we get this house ready and we get moved in, um, one of the first projects I'm gonna start working on is I have a a crude workbench I made. It's a, I believe a, a four by eight. I don't have a top on it per se, because I actually have a door, one of the, so when we, wow, 600 science, that's so nice. When we started doing the work on the house, we replaced all the external doors. The external doors were, you know, they had glass halfway, so I can't really use those for anything, but you know, I might be able to take the lumber from it, glue it together and make something out of it, who knows? And then throw the glass away. But I have, um, there was one, two closets, so normal doors. And then we had one, two, three other doors that we weren't gonna open and close, but we reused one of those for the garage door. So I'm down to four doors. And then I have two smaller ones that are the uh, closet doors that slide, you know, that are on rails. So I have doors. So my idea for my very first workbench, and I have the frame, I just haven't put in a top, a permanent top on it, is I was gonna take a door, it's a solid door, but because it's got details and it's not flat, then I was gonna put a layer of uh, MFD on top of it. So I have a nice sturdy workbench, my first sturdy workbench. So one of the first things I wanna do is once I get all this sheetrock up and I get it wired, wired the way I want, um, then I'm gonna work on making a workbench area with a, I, I wanna have a portable workbench that has a miter saw and a um, my table saw built into it, so yay. 600, sweet. So we wanted to unlock, no, not that. That, yes. Cool. Now there's some also some other parts that I wanted to unlock, which were there, there. Uh, I guess we're gonna spend the 160 and get a, a better lifters, okay? Um, 160 for some bigger tanks. You're welcome. Not worried about the robotics yet. If we're gonna land something on the planet, we need to unlock at least that. And then if I'm gonna land Kerbals, we need that. So we need some more science. So with that said, um, I think we're gonna 
have to wait 14 hours. Wait, we have... No, okay, we have another pilot and another scientist. So we're going to take them and uh, fly by around Minmus. So anyways, I have um, one, two, three, four, five internal doors that I need to take off the hinges, which is fine because... The hinges have been painted over like three times. So I've been using um, a wire thing on my on my drill to strip off the paint. And then I'm just, since everything's white with the exception of the bathroom, the hinges I'm, re, I'm, I'm painting black. So there's a nice contrast and it looks pretty cool too. So let's see here, let's recrew this. So we need our pilot and our scientist, there we go. And we're going to make sure we go from the launch pad. There we go. Uh, two of the doors stick, and it only happens during the summer. So I'm going to plane them down a little bit so they don't stick during the summer. Hang on a sec. Um, no, I don't think we can... Um, unlock any more science so let's just um that there we go yeah i mean um doing the doors thing is um we have to do the change door what we call the the change room it's our closet room is what it is um, I mean, there's a pocket door, so you have some privacy. Hips, what's up? A cool little uh, emote. Okay. <laughs> oh, and thanks for the follow on Twitter, too. Appreciate that. Okay, booster's going bye bye. Right as we. Hey, car are chained there uh just got back from a job interview thought i'd come hang out all right what was the job interview if i may ask and how do you think you did we're uh, doing flybys trying to collect some science uh it was for a grocery store i didn't get the job but it's no biggie you know that was the hardest job I ever worked at, but the best pay I ever had, too. Oh, nice. Good attitude. Very good attitude. Yeah, I worked at a grocery store chain, and I was, um, sometimes I filled in as a checker, but I was mainly just a baggage clerk. All matters. Ah, uh, interesting. So our first team that did a MUN flyby um, came into the atmosphere a little bit too steep and they died. Our second team came back just fine. This team is going to go to Minmus. Well, I am not a rocket guy, per se, but I have been playing Kerbal on stream for about, coming up on eight years now. Oh, yeah, see, you know, I don't do planes too often. The most fun I had with a plane, though, is I disabled all the ground stations, 
and I used an airplane to deploy um, relay antennas along the coastline. <laughs> got an itch. I'm back. <clears throat> Turn that off. I appreciate you coming back. Whoa, too much, too much, too much. All right. All right. <clears throat> Let's um make sure we have an orbit. Close enough. All right. Let's get our solar panels deployed. All right, let's find Minmus. That's the Mun. There's Minmus. Did my Kerbin orbit look really good and now I gotta go do a flyby? Wait, you did your Kerbin orbit, looked really good. Now I gotta do a flyby. Oh, cool, cool, I, we just did that. All right, so we're going to um, gonna do that. 907 on the uh, burn, it's gonna be a two minute burn. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, Saturn, uh, dude, you died. I'm really sorry. I'm terrible at this game. You and Jeb, successful mission to the Mun, flyby coming back. Trajectory is a little too steep. Same craft. We lost control. Couldn't keep you retrograde. Feel terrible. That's always a good attitude, Saturn. These are flybys so we can collect science, bring it back, unlock other parts, get our career back on track. Big long burn.
All right, we're heading out. They did love it. They were all smiles, sir. All right, collecting some more science. Looks good. All right, so before we get too crazy here, we did calculate that we'll say, I, I, I think it only takes 30 days to get there and back if that, but I think we have double the amount. We have 33 days, so not quite double the amount. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it's four more days. Chunk, chunk, chunk of science. All right, sweet. It's um, the EVA report. Nice. All right. Then wait for all this to catch up. This is us collecting science. I have a mod called uh, Auto Science Sampler. That way I don't have to keep checking. It checks for me and does all that. We're going to get closer. So now we're getting Minmus science. Yes. Those are I'm gonna warp right to the PE. Should pick up a lot more science. There it is. Okay, we're gonna hop out, do that EVA report again. I'm back in. All right, so now, if we continue on this course, we will come back to Kerbin. A little bit, we're gonna, gonna do a course correction right about here. Try to get things a little bit square. So we got 1400 Delta V, plenty of gas in the tank. We're gonna do this. And the periapsis is a little bit too far away. 825, so we are going to... Much. That's good. All right, sweet. So that's going to cost 36, almost 37 Delta V. This lined up nicely. Grabbing some more science. All right. Looks like we are on track. How much science have we collected? There's 18 stored experiments in there. That's nice. Oh, that was a duplicate. All right. That was a duplicate. All right, let's get closer. Okay. This periapsis is 49. All right, so we're going to have to do a couple laps to you know, get back to where we want to go. Isn't that a song?
All right, about ready to hit the atmosphere here. Periapsis is in a minute and a half, basically. It says we can do an EVA. I'm gonna grab it real quick. Back in. are getting warm on the solar panels we're gonna lose those yep there we go next is the fuel tank that's where we say goodbye don't take any chances Fuel tank was heating up. That was going to explode. And probably take out the less rest of the craft. That was that was good. Cause this was out by Minmus and we dragged it all the way back. Okay, we got 10 days worth of snacks left. Juice man, you're you're more than welcome. Like I said, the uh, not relying on other people's schedules to have to be over there to you know have a plumber do what he needs to do, an electrician or you know surveyor, inspector, and stuff like that. I'm kind of can't control their schedule, but being I, you know give myself you know the three, four, five hours to stream and then go over there for four, five, six hours, I can do it. I'm very tired at the end of the day keep going to bed at 9 30. don't need that on it's telling everyone that if my amazon order gets here before i go over i have a lot of sanding to do i have a i have some sanding disc but not enough to do the door that i want to get down to the wood <laughs> um then i have a a little i don't want to say electrical work i have a I put a picture in Discord. I've got a, a switch that is pulling away. The box is pulling away because of how it was nailed in. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pry that out a little bit to see if it goes back. And if it does, good. If not, I'm replacing the whole darn thing. Which means I'll be doing electrical today. One way or another. So I got sanding, a little bit of electrical, and then we have a we created a, a light box the sink the sinks always had a light but the light just came 
Romex to a plug or to a light. And well, that's not to code. So we actually put it to a junction box and then the junction box has got a light mounted to it. And now it's to code. So, but we created this box that wasn't there before. And the, the house isn't perfectly plumb. So there's some gaps where we put the box. So I need to go up there and fill it in with some caulk and And then I don't think we're going to paint it. I think it, it's Luon, I think. Um, I think I can just take some 409 or Windex to it to where my grubby hands were on it. And then that'll be done. Then Alex is going to be there this evening. She's going to... Uh, we're going to try to... Uh, we're going to finish painting the ceiling in the... Uh, in there and then maybe attempt to get the uh, shower enclosure started. We actually started it, followed the directions, and the illustration, and it talked about using a one quarter bit, which was too big. So I had to order some new hardware so we can actually mount it. And then on the other side, we're gonna do the correct side. And then once we get the racks and then the walls, I think we're gonna stop there. All right, so we need to get 70. Like I said, it's all this stuff that we can do after the fact. Yay. All right, so now we've got nine days of snack. Yay. But I wonder, we're running out of power though, aren't we? No, we still have some electrical. All right, sweet. Tell you what, as soon as the bathroom is done, that'll be nice. Then um, I don't have to keep talking about the bathroom. <laughs> and there's there's a whole bunch of like, um, just cleaning up the floors where there was some dust and mud. Um, a lot of a lot of trim and touch up paint. Yeah. Oops. I do have a, a couple of light fixtures I have to swap out. The Saturday, we're gonna do a little bit of work in the garage. going to put up um some uh, more insulation and uh, and uh one pass of sheetrock some lower sheetrock all right we're looking to pull our apoapsy in so we can land hopefully it'll happen this turn around So I decided to start early today because it's going to be warm. Let's see, checking my weather app. Yeah, it's going to be 91 today, 94 tomorrow. So if I'm going to be outside um, sanding, I want to get there before it gets too hot. I don't, the humidity is almost as bad, but I should be able to do this under a under a covered deck. The uh, stripping process that I did was called citrus strip. And what I found is that it does a real good job of stripping because you, you spread the goo on there, you cover it with saran wrap so it stays as moist as long as possible. And you just let it do its magic and then you strip it off, but it's still a little, a little tiny gooey. So you let it dry out in the sun and then you can go sand on it. And so it's dried off for a day, so at least it should have. See, that used to be uh, 600 out there. Look at that.
All right. Not quite. Looks like one more lap around the block. Maybe. So we're still... Wait a minute. We just passed the periapsis. All right, so... Still, I think uh, we're not going to make another lap. No, we're not. All right. We're going to land. Let's do the shoot. And these guys brought back 19 experiments. Nice. So what we should do is we'll launch the science uh, research. Just get the, the base component up there, module. And then see about putting some Kerbals uh having them land on the mun and picking up uh some science and bringing that back Oh, we're going to probably land in the water. Yep. It's a long, slow descent. now finally it's gonna be in the water yep
Yay. So far, so good. Parachute. <clears throat> oh, all right, yay. Oh, we can get an EVA report. Oh wait, I forgot to get it. Duh. Try that again. Oh, he got it. He got it. Yep, he got it. All right, cool. All right, nice, safe, and sound. Hey, what's up, Al? How you doing? All right. Since we're bobbing here, we're going to do this again. There we go. Now, yeah, we went from 18 to 24. Yay. Okay. Doing way better today. Oh, I'm doing, uh, I got up early to start early. So I can start over there early since it's going to be hot. So. I'm looking forward to it, not looking forward to the, wow, 529 signs, that's nice. Um, to uh, all the sweat, because <laughs> I'm gonna be outside sanding. You know, getting paint off of a door. All right, so we, we already unlocked that, nice. Then I want to unlock these landing struts, just in case, boom, all right. Uh, it's going to be 90 today, so hot enough. Um, let's see here. Grab those. Grab that. Um, I don't think we need the big fairings. Big battery. Ugh, excuse me. All right. I think I will unlock that. All right. So let's first of all, let's um, let's get the mobile processing lab up in space. So we have a place to transmit the science to. I don't want this. So that that is the main module. And what I've got come grown accustomed to <clears throat> is making a very simple like nose cone that acts as the um oh and also hmm. right so we're gonna also let's do this real quick before I forget. Take this, put it on the middle window, and we want to just make sure it centers on the window, which it has, which is nice. I think it is. I don't know, is it? Oh, there we go. It's better. 
All right, then um, to make a docking port here, I usually pad it with a monopropellant. That's not the right one. That's the one. Then we put a docking port. Oh, I had the right one. Hey, Chris, I fully blame you for making me reinstall KSP and starting to complete contracts again. I'll take full and utter responsibility for that, sir. <laughs> Chris, good to see you. All right, so let's put this like that. There we go, perfect. And then we're going to offset those to about there. All right, so now it gives us two additional docking ports. And we still have windows so we can still see outside. It's nice. Um, so as a, as a concept, what am I looking for? We want to take this. We got different, oh, it's different. Whoa, no, I don't want to. Do uh, we're going to make this strut to the heaviest part. Um, and I think what looked good last time, just for this module, or did I, oh, I can't remember if I did that or This one looks more modern for some reason. All right, so we take that off and then we put, um, put a probe core. No, no, we put a battery. Oh, we don't have the big battery yet. Um, we do a probe core then I think, the new, the new one. And we want that, hang on. Is that where I want it? All right, we'll put it there, I guess. I don't know. All right, then for the, the power, we'll put, um, hmm. Range, but we can do this. Nice and tidy. All right. That way it has an antenna. We got a way to remotely control it. Batteries, 
Which, uh, okay, I did something wrong here. All right, let's redo the batteries. <laughs> Better. Looks a little bit better, a little bit more organized. Um, I think so, I don't know. Um, we got battery, we're gonna put solar panels on the outside so we can put the lid back on. And get rid of this. One sec. Sorry about that. All right, so that looks good and clean. So easily, oh wait, something's wrong here. This does not, there we go. All right, let me take, take a, oh, okay. All right, let's say, okay, so, oh geez. Something's not working here. All right, let's do a save. Uh oh, I don't wanna lose this. Oh, that's better. All right, woo, recurb. Um. Mobile processing lab. Save it. Actually, let's make that root again. Then, yeah, there we go. All right, simple, elegant. So we've already got antennas in there, so we don't need to clutter the outside with an antenna. We can use that we can get an antenna on another module, but what we do need to do to keep the lights on, so to say, is put a little bit of little solar generation. There and then up here. Put this down to 20% and that's good. That's 
good and then actually let's get rid of this since i don't want to have to go and do all that again oh you know what okay totally um yeah um rcs One sec. Um, let's see here. Right, right, right. So we can do, um, these guys. Not that many though. I wonder if I should put them on. I don't want to put them on this side. Maybe I should. I don't know. How do I, okay, so if I make um, that root, let's get rid of that for a sec, turn this on, that's what I was looking for. And according to this, let's get this set up. So we're doing the average center of mass, oh, which is not in there. Markers, there we go. Resources. Um, we want to do average center of math and we want to do translations. Okay. Now I want to get this torque to be as small as possible. I'm going to see if this translates. Oh, okay. Now that gets wonky like that because of the, um, I take this off. It's so weird how adding a docking port throws that off. So the kilonewtons. Okay, that's fine. If I add this, I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, so the thing is, if this is balanced and we have another one that's connected, they should balance. So if I add something within it should be balanced. All right, so we're gonna find out. So right now we have fork of 13 starboard and port. Dorsal is very small. All right, so I, I can deal with all of that. No problem. So let's um, oops. add that. And that's broken because I think we have to add no, not that. Oh, wait. Make this root. There we go. Then we can add this. Still nothing. So let's save it. Clear it. Load it. Um. Um. A. Sort by last update. Oh, I just have to do that. There we go. All right. That. And we go this, and it still shows no kilonewtons. That that's got to be wrong. Oh, that's fore and aft. Okay, my bad, my bad. Okay, okay. There's still torque in there, but it just it's nice and balanced. I like it. I like it. All right, so let's do this. That's in five. One, two, three, four, and five. 
five. All right. All right. So, um, so that, that means that I have no, it's not too much torque. So when I do something, it doesn't skew itself, which is nice. Okay. Um, let's put this up in orbit. We're going to put a little, uh, fairing around it. Um, so we don't have to put a decoupler here because we can undock it. So, but we do need to put a fairing. Oh, okay. A little bit too, a little bit too much there. Let's see here. Let's see what we can do. That. Okay, that might be better. All right, sweet. So let's see, we'll do four sides. That. All right, sweet. So um, I think we're just gonna launch this directly into orbit. Not worry about a uh, stage. Point into orbit, so we're gonna do this. First things first, this is gonna be probably a very easy launch. We're gonna put these on here as usual. Um, and then, oh, yeah. And then we're gonna go. I wanna turn this thing back around. Deorbit it. So we need. And a. So that's not quite enough to get to orbit. So I thought what I could do is, um, doing this um don't think i need all this fuel
So let's take this one down to like half. And then pull it off. Put it back on. I'm just sizing the, the engines to make sure that they're the right height. Um, all right, perfect. Uh, I'm still gonna use, um, these. reason fuel lines can't look at you know better i always say all right so 157 hey editor how the heck are you doing that's better um plenty of delta v for the orbit but we want a high orbit so i think this will work just fine and we'll do this We're gonna get a science research during recovery mode. I get it. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be in a moving mode probably in a couple months. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be tuckered out, brained. All right, let's see here. So let's see if this will work. Make sure it's right at launch, okay, good. <sighs> oh, excuse me. All right, let's um, I want to put this at, at like a two twenty-five, maybe a two fifty. Well, there you go. If you can do it over some time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm talking about actually moving my office over first. That way I can work out the internet and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, now I see what you're saying. Then once I get the office moved over, then I can just get up, shower, go to work. And then while I'm over there, even though we're not moving in, I can still get right into the DIY of everything that needs to be finished. Get all cleaned up, people get moved in. Yay. This is actually working out pretty good. should not have staged well on the plus side at least there's no kerbals I doubt so this thing weighs how much um, so 
So a little over seven tons. All right. So I doubt RCS can do anything. It's slowing us down. Look at that. Not going to slow us down enough, but. Oh, that's because, okay. As we get thicker into the atmosphere, our ISP gets worse. Oh, well. Let's see if anything can, can survive. I don't think so. Eh. Nope. Oh. All right, always check your staging. I've, I've said that, practice what you preach. Yada, 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 yada. <sighs> yeah not having a good kerbal day are we no we're not that was pretty all right let's um go back to space center try this one more time feeling uh okay can i recover some of this stuff oh yay all right so first of all do a reset um launch clamps up here that's those and that's way up there oh, wait those need to be there yeah, that's weird um oh huh. all right I think uh, the mod author has added a pressure setting. So with the auto stage, um, stage fairing when dynamic pressure is greater than 50 kilometers, but less than, that should be fine. All right, let's see if it works. Stage frames when the dynamic pressure is less than five kilopascals. The altitude is greater than 50 plum. All right. So it's, it's gotta be above 50 kilometers to do this. Cause there should be hardly any pressure. Yeah, you're right. See what happens here. Oh, the fairing actually clips in. Oh, interesting. All right, so, so this doesn't work. My fairing was uh was clipped in here, so that, that's a problem also. Just a scratch. Hey, Frost, what's up? Um. thing is I don't know what the um, I don't know what the dynamic pressure is I mean, there's a way of doing it you can enable something oh uh, oh error oh geez I think um, light info
there's something you can put you can get an arrow option oh the Kermanity, yes and there's no kerbal in here though so we're good so i need to adjust the fairing and i'm going to do some manual uh staging but the the fairing looks like it's it's somehow clipped in up here which is entirely possible but what happened is it's getting rid of the booster is fine but then the fairing stages which it's not supposed to maybe if i increase that number hey old grumpy how the heck are you doing all right let's um let's adjust the fairing Third time's a charm, right? And that's what they say. All right, uh, let's clean this up. Back in here. Do this again. All right, so for some reason, the fairing is all Looks good and clean. All right, try this again. All right, so we're gonna still do this, but we're gonna turn off the auto stage. There's that. Yeah, I, I don't know the auto stage. I wonder if that's broken. Although I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what our dy dynamic pressure is right now. There's a way you can find out you can get an, another user interface to show up you have to enable it through console or something like that bj uses it all the time
All right, now we can pop the fairing. There it goes. Run some lights. There it goes. This is the base module of our science research station platform. It has the uh, ability to do the research. And we also have our training facility on this too. So we can bring uh, untrained Kerbals up here. Also full of snacks. We're putting it about 250 kilometers for the orbit. So we need 971 for the orbit. And that leaves us gas left over so we can detach and deorbit. As long as we stay in communication. Looks like we should. Plus, we have a couple of helper satellites out here, a couple of uh early career comm relays. But it looks like we should pretty much still be over KSC. platform our little science lab is still here communicating everything's good switch back over to here and we are going to uh, use RCS to pull away a little bit and then we're going to uh, turn around So this will just hang out here and uh, we'll attach a um, power module to it. So it has a power generation. we got to unlock the big solar panels. Then we got to get a habitat module up here then get some Kerbals up here and start training them. So we can start transmitting science. And we're going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> so I started early so I could finish early today, guys, because it's going to get warm today and I'm going to be out in it. I don't want to, you know, Lose too much of my bodily mass, you know, in the sweat. So guys, let's roll some credits here real quick. Do, 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 do. Reddit music. Swedish, thanks for the resub. 66 months, appreciate that. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow, okay? You guys have a great rest of your day.